In this video, we're going to continue examining compound inequalities. Just now, we're going to look at how to write compound inequalities when given the graphs of the solution space. So here, we're given two different problems. The first thing you want to determine is, is the graph an and or an or compound inequality? And the way you can tell with this is by how the graph is set up. Remember, and compound inequalities are going to look like your solution space. Your solution will be between, and I'll just do two random variables, let's say A and B. It's going to be between two numbers. So graphically, it's going to be between two numbers. For an or compound inequality, your solution space is going to be two simple inequality graphs combined on the same number line. And so you're going to see two graphs separate from each other. And so that's one way to look at it. So the first step is determine is it an and or is it an or compound inequality. So if I look at number one, I have my boundaries of one and seven, and my solution is between them. And so this tells me that problem one is an and compound inequality. This is very easy to write the inequality graph from. We want to have our solution space, which is represented by our x, between the two endpoints. So now we want it between 1 and 7. So we look at number 1. Your solution is going to be greater than, so it's going to open up towards the x, or equal to. So it's greater than or equal to here. And then you have your 7 which your x is less than or equal to. And so that is our compound inequality. Our solution is between 1 and 7. The circles tell us that it is or equal to for both of these. You notice that your inequalities point the same direction for an and compound inequality. And so now we look at number 2. Which one is number 2? Is it an and or is it an or? And since we see two graphs separate from each other, this is an example of an or compound inequality. The way you do this is you write them separate. Your x here would be less than or equal to, because the arrow is going to the left, and it's a closed circle, negative 5. And then you write the word or, and you write the next one. Here, x, it's a closed circle with an arrow to the right, is greater than or equal to 4. And there is the compound equality, the or compound equality that represents that graph. So determine which one it is by the characteristics of the solution space graph. Is the solution space between or is it outside? And then determine, okay, is it closed circle? Is it open circle? To use either less than or less than or equal to or greater than or greater than or equal to and put your variable in the appropriate spots for that. And so this is how you write the compound equalities from a given graph.